43 on this Tuesday. Good morning. It is Tuesday. We made it through Monday. This is the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Make sure you go to Hometown Station. Make sure you go. Oh, I do that part. Okay. Make sure you go to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest Santa Clarita has to offer. And speaking of the greatest Santa Clarita has to offer, very, she is. very special cast in studio. Trying to, you know, I'm, I'm putting just, this on a silver platter, making I'm, her feel good. I'm boosting and you, and it, is what I'm doing. Is that what you're doing? I'm boosting it. Oh, my gosh. Mm, mm. Dr. Jamie joins us. Doctor. Yeah. Talking all things pets. And uh, specifically, well, how do you know if your animal is getting old, other than looking at a calendar? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of ways to, besides the calendar, determine, you know, if your pet's aging. Um, and there's lots of things that we can do about it, too. Okay, um, so first, the symptoms of an aging. Let's let's take, for example, a dog. So oftentimes, you may start to notice some subtle changes, like they're showing their age, they're slowing down. Um, oftentimes, that's not just slowing down. He, may, he or she may be painful. Um, so they'll get arthritis, just like people will. And with joint pain, that will definitely slow them down. They'll maybe not be able to jump or not be willing to jump, you know, on and off furniture, in and out of the car like they used to. They may still want to go on walks and be all gung-ho, but then seem really sore the next day or afterwards or doing, you know, playing, running after the ball, that kind of thing, if they just seem to overdo it. Um, and, you know, certainly older pets can also get senility too. So very... Yeah, very advanced age animals are experiencing senility because they're living longer because we have better medicine, and so they experience brain aging as well. So um, they may act confused. They may get into a corner or under a chair and not know how to get out of there. Um, there may be changes in their sleep-wake cycles, so they may be more kind of distressed or up at nighttime when they should normally be sleeping. Um those are definitely all signs of what about aging. Eyes and ears. Oh, eyes and ears. So they can definitely lose eyesight. They can lose hearing. Um, as part of an old age. As part of just aging, especially mm -hmm. the hearing. Um, with eyesight, they will have some just age-related changes. Sometimes they'll look a little bit cloudy, but that typically isn't um, affecting their vision. Cataracts, on the other hand, which usually go more with a medical condition as well, that can certainly be blinding. My dog uh, does not have an ear infection, but I, I see her occasionally kind of, you know, scratch at her one ear, uh, but there has been no, uh, the, the vet looked and there's no infection, there's no nothing going on. Mm -hmm. How can you tell if they're losing their hearing, maybe? Is that what, maybe why she's... Possibly. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard because some, it's such a subjective thing. And since we can't talk to them, they can't say, I don't hear you. You know, I know. They, when, when is that going to happen? <laughs> when can we turn that around? Right. I know that would, would make everything so much easier. Right. Mm -hmm. But they're they're If you pay attention to their behavior, if they used to always hear you when you come home, you know, even hear your car coming up the street, hear you come in the door. And now they're not. They're just sleeping through it. And then you seem like you sneak up on them. They're like, oh, oh, you're home, and you're, you know, you're surprising them. Then they're probably losing their hearing. Um, I do know some animals will have selective hearing. <laughs> hey, they we, may not hear you, but they'll hear the cookie jar. I think we all do. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have selective hearing. So what happens? What should we do as far as care once they start aging and we start seeing these symptoms? Is there anything special we need to do? Do we need to change their food? Do we need to change the way we walk them or how often or just keep going as, as, as we do? Well, first of all, I would recommend if you have an older pet to maybe come in to see your vet twice a year instead of just once a year because as they age, things can change or progress quickly, um, and we want to try to catch those things early and intervene when we can. So um, especially if you're seeing your pets slow down. And what, um, what, what is a senior pet? Like uh, how seven many years? Seven older. Seven years. Seven mm -hmm. human years. Yes. Okay. Normal years. Seven okay. years or older is mm -hmm. considered a senior. Um so especially if they're slowing down, there's lots of therapies now that we can do. Um, there's medication, you know, anti-inflammatory pain relief medication. There's glucosamine and other joint supplements. Um, 
certainly watching their weight is important because the heavier they are, which certainly goes with age two, sometimes they start to gain weight. That's going to be harder on their joints. Um, there's acupuncture, there's laser therapy, there's all sorts of things that we can do to help with mobility. Um, as far as age, brain age, um, there are some special diets. There's definitely supplements that we can put them on. Um, and just, you know, trying to ease that progression as much as we can. So if we are catching those subtle signs early, then supplements would help a lot more than are, if we're doing it much later. Are they supplements that are easy to give to the, because <laughs> sometimes, or do we have to hide it in peanut butter and stuff? I think it just depends <laughs> on the animal. Yeah, some are much more food driven and, you know, don't care what they're inhaling and <laughs> others are a little suspicious. So <laughs> Dr. Jamie Ranchetto, if uh, our new listeners on 98.1 are traveling around right now in the car and they say, Dr. Jamie, she sounds like she knows what she's talking about. And she does. <laughs> uh, and they want to give you a buzz and uh, check things out with uh, Cinema Vet. How yeah. can they do that? Uh, our phone number is 661-253-9300, or you can look us up on our website, www.cinemavet.com. Cinemavet.com and Dr. Jamie Ronchetto, always a pleasure. You know, today is Senior Citizen Day. Well, perfect. So we'll just, we'll just move that right on to the pets yeah. as well. Happy Senior Citizen Day.